My name's Kevin Davis. I live in a village near Withensea. About five, six years ago now, I started to suffer with my mental health. And it was getting to the point where I was withdrawn, I was down, I was miserable. I was um, locked up in the house. I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to see people. I just felt so, so low. And I really did feel suicidal. You know, there was two times I was planning on actually taking my life because I just couldn't cope. I got out of bed, I sat on the side of the bed, and I thought, this is the last time you're going to be doing getting dressed, Kev. I'd planned what I was going to do. And I don't know what happened, but out of the blue, that morning, my support worker turned up and says, I've been in touch with mind. And she told me what to do. A few days later, um, Emma from Mind rang me up. She's so good with me on the phone. I went to see her. And uh, to be honest, it was the best move I ever made. We set up the dates. I had to go to group sessions on a Wednesday afternoon. And I went in. And there was quite a few people there. And uh, that was the first time I, I realised, quite it ain't just me. Because you do think it's just yourself. And everything that was being posted on the board, I'm going, this is me. This is me. I couldn't believe it. This is actually me. It was me to a T. What was happening to me? Anyway, I got through the first group and I thought, I feel a bit better. One, I've got out of the house. Two, I found somebody I can trust as, as in Emma. And three, I'm not alone. I continued to go to the groups every Wednesday. I could feel it was lifting my low mood. And I thought, this is working. And at that point, I started to think, my God, I'm glad I didn't take my life. And then eventually, I'd done all the, um, the groups mine do. So it was my time to step back, obviously to let other people come in. But as luck was have it, the volunteer for that group sat down at that time. I just thought, if I volunteer, I've still got something to look forward to on a Wednesday afternoon. And then the more I did it, the more I got confident and I started to feel like life was worth living again. I'm strong enough now to be able to tell people my story. And I tell them I've been there, I've been sat where they are. If I can just give them a bit of hope, give them a bit of support, you know, just by being there, you know, um, I'm giving a bit back to mind that really did turn my life around. It's lovely to see the difference in people at the groups from week one to week six. I mean, this has all come from mind. I've made friends. I've got life le lifelong friends now made from it. And Daisy, my dog, she's been with it, th with me throughout, you know, from being a pup and there's, she makes me smile, you know, she puts a laugh on my face. You know, when I'm feeling down, she's there for a cuddle, you know, so when I was alone, I wasn't alone. I had my dog to get me through to my next support session. You know, and five and a half years on, you know, she's my best buddy. There was some lovely people at mind. I can't thank them enough. I can't thank them enough for what they did for me. You know, I mean, from that phone call, what Emma gave to me from day one, I would have never, ever have thought I'd be where I am now. And without mind, without going to mind, well, I don't know what have happened. You know, if you're just feeling not right, mention it to someone. It's nothing to be ashamed of. 
you know, the support out there. And even now, I still get support from them. Well, and East George Man, if you need help, yeah, you're a phone call away, or even you can pop into the office. Hey, you programmed that well already. <laughs> <laughs>